into <laughs> another, another episode, episode of Milk, Milk Talk, the world's, world's greatest, greatest podcast, podcast brought, brought to you by us. us. What's, What's going, going on, guys? guys? The, the milker, milker and, and the, the dog. dog. <laughs> milk talk. <laughs> My milk. Oh, oh snap. See, the, the milker and the dog. dog. What did I just tell you guys? That's, That's what, what I'm, I'm talking, talking about. about. And we're, we're going, going into another episode of Milk Talk. talk. You know, you we know, couldn't we get, get back with you guys, guys last week. week. R.I.P. Our, Our mic's messed up. up. Sorry, Sorry about, about it. it. You know, yeah. we, we failed, failed you guys, guys. but Gage, hey, we're here. You drinking Drink some, some milk? milk? What's that, that smell, smell like? Dude, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. <laughs> what the fuck, the fuck is, is that? <laughs> Go Chargers. What does it taste like? It's an energy thing? Dude, green tea? Oh, dude. <laughs> Fuck! All right, guys, let's get into it. God damn. That's some nasty stuff. Don't ever get that. Whatever the fuck that is. Guys. Shit. All milk right. talk. Milk <laughs> talk. That's, That's disgusting, disgusting stuff, stuff right, right there. there. Fuck. <laughs> Too old for that shit, Gabe. Get, get that shit out of here. here. NFL, NFL has bad refs, and we're here to talk about them. Yeah. yeah. I, mean, I mean, dude, dude the, the officiating here, here recently, recently has been, been terrible. terrible. Absolutely All abysmal. Season. All, All season has been bad. bad. You know? Yeah. Making, Making up for calls that they didn't call just to make bad calls. You think that's a thing, Trey? Dude, Dude, I, I feel, feel like, like it is. is. Like, like games, games I've watched, watched, you know. You know? They, they barely touch them. Holding. Yeah. yeah. Then they. Then, then, then the, the next play, play you know, there's, there's a massive PI, and they're, they're like, like, I'm not gonna call it. it. Didn't see it. Didn't, Didn't see it. I was looking, looking somewhere else. else. You're disgusting. disgusting. But, but, you know, like hits on people, right? Like, like I feel like, I feel like the the officiating is bad, and you know, some of the players. Are, are getting, getting penalized, penalized for that, that for, for, you know, the way they're the way they're making hits on people. You know, KZ, KZ the way he hit Pitt. Oh, perfect. Do you think he deserved <clears throat> to be suspended the whole <throat> season, even if they make the playoffs? No, oh, I don't. You know why? Because people get hit like that all the time, and they don't suspend them. Well, no, I mean that's not that's not the reason. I feel like the reason he shouldn't be suspended is because. So, so he, he was, was already in the, in the, in the attempt, attempt to make the tackle, tackle okay? okay? So, so if you look at him, he was, he was already going, going down with his shoulder to make the tackle. tackle. So, so Pittman's standing up. He's, he's hitting him in the abdomen, abdomen around the, the, the thigh area, area right? right? And uh, uh, Gardner Minshew throws, throws a bad, bad ball. ball. That, that makes Pittman have to dive. He was already in the act of going down to make the stop on the ball. So... You can't fucking, I don't know if you know this, but you can't stop your fucking motion when you're already in the act of diving at this guy. You're telling me you can't stop while you're already in motion? No. What? Yeah. Dude. You're so, telling me if you're flying through the air, you can't stop? Yeah. That's why That's why the, That's why. why he got up and he was like, he was like incomplete and the ref threw a flag. I mean, yeah, he should have been ejected the game, okay, but... Or, I mean, at least they should have made it one, you know, his first offense. And they sh- the next time, if he this did it. This first time he's ever did anything, right? I don't I don't know. I don't know about that. But I'm just saying, no, I mean, apparently not. He's apparently a repeat offender. Because oh, really? That's why they suspended him the season. I didn't read too much on it. I'm not going to lie. But I'm just saying he got. I mean, dude, you got to let the players play the fucking game. I mean, you can't just. Yeah, I agree. We're with not that playing fucking flag football here, okay? This is a contact sport. Yeah. I mean, dude, they make millions of dollars. Okay. They want, you know, they're all trying to win a game. Everybody on the field tries to win the game. Okay. So I just feel like it's a bad call having him suspended the whole season. Yeah. It's kind of leaves an ugly taste in the mouth for the Steelers fans and 
NFL fans in general, because obviously, like you said, he was already in the act of doing it. <clears throat> so how is he going to stop himself? Sure, an ejection. Sure, eject him. Yeah. But the whole season, they're trying to make a point, I guess, but I think it's the wrong way to go about it. I mean, I get it. If the Steelers miss the playoffs, only three games, okay? <laughs> You're only missing three games. But, you know, he, he's a big part. He's a big part of the of their team, right? I mean, he's a, he's a leader. He's been in the league a couple years. He's probably been in the league five or six years, actually. You know, he's a leader on the team. You can't just automatically be like, well, you know. Let's replace him. Yeah, you're just shit out of luck, bub. You are already in the motion, you know. And we know you can't stop, but we're suspending you. Go fuck yourself. I mean, that's literally what the NFL said to him. Yeah, basically. Yeah. I mean, that's literally it. He probably also got fined. Oh, this yeah. This is what they do. They don't even bring that part up either. It's yeah. like, we're taking some of that money. Yeah. How much you make this game? We yeah, taking we, it. We need about a fucking three fourths of it. Let's Tree go. Fitty. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah, I mean that's that's just one of the bad calls. I mean, there's just I mean, I feel like just that one bad call. There's also, you know, bad calls against quarterbacks, right? Like roughing the passer and stuff. Some of them some of them get calls. Patrick Mahomes gets it every fucking time. Some of them like Herbert, right? Before he got injured. Oh, didn't that get, was bullshit. Dude, he didn't get fucking calls at all. No, and he was getting murdered dude, out there. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of people that just get fucking murdered. Our team was literally like backing him up, pushing him, and then we got flagged because yeah. we pushed the dude after he hit him. Yeah. Like he knew what he was doing. Yeah, I'm just saying, like I'm just using him as an example. I mean, there was uh, I don't know what game you're talking about. I've seen multiple games, though, where Herbert's just got laid the fuck out. It was two games before he broke his middle finger, and, or his index. And, you know, I've seen, like, multiple games where he's got laid out and no one's called anything. Like, dude, over the weekend, Tommy DeVito de- basically damn near died on the field. <clears throat> and they almost didn't call that. I think they finally did. It was a late flag, but, I mean, dude, that's the problem with the quarterbacks, right? Dude, they try to put this bubble wrap around him, Okay. And then, you know, dude, they're fucking playing football, okay? They're going to try to get extra yards. You yeah. Know? And now they know if I get hit, they're going to probably fucking fit, flag this motherfucker if I just act it out better. If I just go, oh, oh, God, he hit me. Do you think that the Travis Kelsey uh, end zone play should have been flagged for holding? Fuck No. Motherfucker fell on purpose, and he's like, and then instantly he's looking at the ref, and then ke- fucking Mahomes is down there. Uh, every I time, hate that shit. Every time, hold on, you gotta put the tongue out. Yeah, every time <laughs> he's just stupid. like, uh, what? You're not gonna call that? No, motherfucker's not flag. Kelsey was laying down on the ground like, yeah. And I then, hate and it. And then T. Swizzle up there like, She's what like, what the fuck? fuck? I don't know what football is, but <clears throat> fuck them. <laughs> that's my hubby. Yeah. <clears throat> Dude, yeah. I mean, that's just, I mean, like I said, there's just bad calls. <laughs> and then, they, you know, they f- the favoritism is yeah, unreal. stupid. Dude. Somebody, this guy is so bad. Dude, you know, Brian told me one day that, you know, that Mahomes is the new Brady. And the more I watch the Chiefs games, dude, the more I see it. Like, dude, the fact that he just t- turns right to the ref and he's like pointing down the field at him. And the ref's like, you're right, Patrick. Oh throws my, a fucking flag. You son of a bitch, you're right. He, and then he walks over to Patrick. What was, what was that flag for? <laughs> is, that, is that flag good? Uh, Did dude, I do a good you know, job, Patrick? Let's see. It was it was probably a 30-yard pass. Let's say P.I. Call it P.I. so we can get the ball way down there. All right, yeah, that was a pass interference on the defense, blah, blah, blah. It's like Hit that Travis vi- Kelsey. What? It's like that video I sent <clears throat> you about fantasy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hit Travis Kelsey. Kelsey's on the sideline. Well, he hit oh, somebody uh, down there. Uh, Noah Gray. Yeah, someone down there got hit. Defensive pass interference. <laughs> spot, spot. Spot of the ball. That way down there at 30 yards. Fuck him. <laughs> uh, last week. We were muted. Video didn't come out. So I guess we'll just talk about this very briefly. Patrick Mahomes being a little bitch boy. 
about oh, dude, yeah. Kadarius Tony clearly offsides multiple times in the game. Should they have called it before? Maybe. But that last one, when they actually did call it, was egregious. And obviously, the refs didn't know that crazy play was about to happen. Yeah. Where he's going to lateral it back to Tony and run him for the touchdown. I mean, majority of the time, though, on offsides, they stop the play. They just let it play out. That's what I thought was funny. And I that's think that's what, awesome. That, that's what Mahomes was more pissed probably about. Dude, but, uh, hey, like I always say, the ball doesn't lie, okay? Ball don't lie. This week, what happens? He fucking hits Kadarius Tony across the middle. Kadarius Tony's like, oh, I got it. Off my helmet. Dude picks it off, takes it back. I'm like, nice. This is Kadarius Tony right here, guys. I said it as soon as I <clears throat> saw that play. I said, they're dropping him after this year. Dude, ball don't lie. Remember that, guys. Ball don't lie. They might start benching him. But uh, I don't know if you saw at the very end of that game, Travis was like brotherly loving on him, has his arm on his shoulder. He's like, it'll be okay, buddy. Dude, I don't know what Patrick said on the sideline when they went to, then they view, view, uh, zoomed in on him, zoomed in on him. When they zoomed Boom. in, yeah, when they zoomed in on him, he was like, he said, it looked like he said, I told you guys this motherfucker sucks or something like that. Oh, what, shit. Dude, that's what it looked like he mouthed. He said something along those lines. I'm like, Hey, bub, why do you think the Giants traded him to you, their first-round pick? The Giants picked him up in the first round for, uh, I think they got like a fifth round back or sixth round. <clears throat> Either Trey is really good at lip reading or he just has no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> or I have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> or, like I just said, in the gist. Like, he might not have said every word that I said, but he was just like, he's like, I told you guys. You know, it was exactly after that play about him. And like that's what it looked like. He said, "I told you about him" or something like that. They need somebody. I mean, Rice is starting to pick up a little bit. They need someone else though, because they're everybody else. They're just rotating. Yeah. They got Watson, MVS. Uh, they got Tony. They got uh, Sky Moore. That's four right there. Yeah. And I'm sure there's like another one that I'm missing. But they just rotate receivers. Dude, my problem. And then obviously Rice. Dude, so, you know, everybody puts it like on the coaches, right? The head coach is the problem majority of the time. Okay. Sometimes. But that's what people blame. Yeah. And I get it. Okay. Because the head coach is technically the guy, the the dude that hires all the people surrounding him. Right. Defense and offensive coordinator. But, dude, like, I feel like you should blame it more on the offensive and defensive coordinators. If the offense is – unless the coach is like, you know, like McCarthy this year is doing all offense for Dallas. And, <clears throat> you know, how Brandon Staley took the defensive over before he got fired. Like, then you – then you, like, dude, the defense sucks. It's on you, motherfucker. Yeah. But – or the offense sucks. It's on you. But when you <coughs> – when they have an offensive and defensive coordinator – I think they should be, they shouldn't be, uh, you know, people shouldn't be more, and shouldn't be as pissed at the head coach. They should be like, bro, you need to get somebody else to replace this guy, right? Because, right. you know, we see the Eagles struggling. They lost their offense defense coordinator last year. Both of them. Oh, hey, uh, speaking of that, I don't know if you saw that yesterday during the game. This is recorded Tuesday. Um uh, I don't know if you saw that, but Dosi or Dosi, Dosi, whatever, their defensive coordinator, yeah. who was the uh, first time this year, he was up in the booth, and instead they had a, a different defensive coordinator out there on the field. Yeah, my Matt Patricia. Yeah, they. Uh, he was a head coach for the line. Well, he was a defensive coach for the Patriots when they won the Super Bowls. Then went and got a head coaching job as the Lions coach before Campbell. And then he was the offensive coordinator, and that's why they sucked in New England. And then that that, that was his first day, Matt Patricia. Yeah, so they're obviously working out something. Their defense Is looked kind of ass dude, yesterday. They're, they're they were defense. letting Kenneth Walker just run all over them. And that's a good group of guys. Yeah. Dude, I mean, not really. I mean, you look. Dude, they left the 49ers and then Dallas. And now the Seahawks all run all over them. Like, they have just shit on them. Three weeks in a row now. 
Dude, I mean, and Hurts does not look good. <laughs> I mean, they need to get they need to get their shit together before the playoffs hit because I mean, obviously they're gonna make the playoffs. They're fucking ten wins. Yeah, they're guaranteed. But they it might not make together. it out of the first round. Yeah, they're gonna have to fucking find a way to because uh, you know their offense really ain't looked that great here recently either. And they got an easy <clears throat> schedule. They got Giants, Cardinals, Giants. Yeah, so they, that's what I'm saying. This is when they need to... These are perfect games for them to work this stuff out. Because yeah. it's not like they're playing against like the Bills or the Chiefs or yeah. insert other good football teams. But yeah. And I thought when they beat the Bills the way they did in overtime and, you know, on the last second... Pl- pl- or not last second, but in overtime, the way they did, I was like, damn, they might go back. And then... They look good then, that game. Then they... Three weeks in a row now, they've shit the bed. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Yeah. They look good when they play the Chiefs, too. Yeah. I but, mean, everybody anymore looks good against the Chiefs. Fuck, the Patriots look good against Chiefs until Zappy started being Zappy. The week before that, Patriots look good, too. So they're they're obviously, like, figuring out that Zappy's their guy and Mac Jones isn't. Yeah. But regardless, they're both kind of ass. Yeah. I still think Bill's gone. I mean, Kraft said it. Apparent, allegedly in uh, Germany. He said that Bill yeah. Belichick, this is last year, in New England. I mean, the dude's been there a while. Uh, I don't really think the team's his fault because they don't really have the best team anymore. Their team's like kind of just a makeshift team. Dude, and yeah, I mean, basically. But back to back to the thing about the, the offensive and defense coordinators. So... I think the Chiefs not only losing Tyreek Hill two two years ago, I think the Chiefs losing uh oh Eric the Enemy, Eric B Enemy last year to the to the Commanders, dude. I think that is uh taking a massive toll on him because you got Matt Nagy out here trying to call offensive players that plays that he got fired as a Bears head coach. Like like dude he uh. You know, and then that's why Washington, that's why Sam Howe throws so much compared to running. Like that's what they did in that's what they do did in uh Kansas City. And that's why they utilize their running backs more often in Washington. Because that's what they did. McKinnon, Edwards Lair, Pacheco, yeah. out routes, screen plays. That's what they did. I don't think the commanders have a bad team, but obviously they got rid of their best defensive players, so they're yeah. just kind of working for something. Like, they're trying to rebuild, obviously. Yeah. Rebuild around the, I mean, the young Sam Howell. Yeah, I mean, they know. I mean, what's his name? Ron Rivera knows it's his last year or his last season there. You know, so he's out. You know, there's going to be a lot of... A lot of coaching jobs are opening up. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of coaching jobs open at them. I'm excited the to see what happens. Our team, the Bills, they, yeah. get, a co- they get a new one? Bill still got their same one. I thought they just fired their uh, offensive coordinator. Offensive coordinator. They need an offensive coordinator. Uh, Panthers going to need one, probably. Uh, the Raiders need one, but I, I just assume I they, think they keep them. I think they're just going to keep Pierce. Pierce has been, maybe he's not the best coach, but that dude gets the guys motivated. He's a people person. Yeah, the, the people rally like, him. I feel like, you know, that's more, that's somebody you want. Absolutely, As a coach. <clears throat> Somebody that can gel with the players and you know play with you know talk to them you know like as bros, but then be like, bro, look, I need you to do this, and then they're like, you know what, I'll die on the field for this, coach. That's why I think our biggest problem was our head coach was also also our defensive guy. Yeah, right. But you need someone you take over till November. You need someone who's the head coach. And then you need a defensive coordinator and an offensive coordinator. So the head coach is like making sure the players are getting their shit down, right? And then the offense coordinator is calling the fucking plays. Yeah. That's what you need. Dude, I still think one of your problems is going to be Kellen Moore. I do not know how this motherfucker keeps a job. I really don't. Because he wasn't good in Dallas, okay? Like, Dak threw a shitload of picks, okay? And they, they couldn't run the ball, really. Even with Zeke. Even like, you know, four years ago when Zeke wasn't as, you know, fat. Yeah, if you. 
honestly, without Ramondre, Zeke's been looking like yeah. a beast. But same time, Patriots way more experience. Yeah, I mean, I I feel like, dude, offense and defensive coordinators are more valuable than a head coach. Okay, you know, I, like if we look at our stats, Eckler is supposed to be our main guy. Not even just him; the other two have not proven themselves at all. Yeah, like. The more I think about it, the more I want to come to the conclusion that it's not just Eckler's problem. I think our O-line's kind of ass, and then uh, the plays. If a lot of the times when we're running the ball, we, we just push it up the middle. It's the same thing the Jets do. I don't, well, it's not, there's more teams that do it. But if your offensive line is not making a hole, and you're just pushing him up the middle and hoping he just breaks through or whatever, yeah. you're not getting any yards. Yeah. Then you start... Curling out more, you know? Yeah. Oh, for sure. I mean, there's so many teams that just do the same thing, go up. There's only one team that I've seen that can successfully just, or actually, I guess two now. The Bills were doing it. Uh, James Cook was just running straight through and getting through every time, but their O line's probably way better. And uh, uh, who else? We just saw it. Oh, Keaton Mitchell for the Ravens. That dude was getting like 10 yards every run against the Jags. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Trevor Lawrence is a fuck around gang. <laughs> yeah. RIP Keaton Mitchell. He's probably done for a while. Yeah, yeah ACL, right? I, I wasn't sure. I think it's ACL. Yeah, he's done for the season for sure. And then probably majority of next season. Yeah. Unless he's taking Aaron Rodgers' uh, juice. But, you know, he was doing solid there for a while. His dad was a safety for the Ravens, apparently. Oh, back yeah. in the day. That's cool. Yeah, they're talking about it, dude. Uh, but you know, other than that, I mean, I mean, what do you what do you think the impact of you know NFL having foreign games like on on the players? Like, I mean, it's awesome, right? Like they just announced last week that they're going to Brazil, right? They're doing they're doing a Brazil game. You know, and they'll probably keep the the Germany and the and the London games. You know, yeah. But I mean, dude, I wonder. I wonder, like, the effect that it has. You know, the jag lag. Honestly, it's got to affect the players when they land because <clears throat> you're on a completely different time schedule, like time zone. Uh, it's completely different. I'm sure, you have jet lag. Uh, jag lag. Jag lag. <clears throat> it really does fuck with the players, I'm sure. Like, you, no matter how many times you fly, I don't know how many people out there fly a lot, but I've flown over 10 times in the last, like, three years. I never get used to it. I'm always so exhausted, and I can't imagine traveling to a different country. Obviously, they're there, like, two days before the game, but, man, that takes a toll on you. Yeah. And you just get sick so easily just by traveling. Yeah, I mean, I've only flown <laughs> once, and it was I went to Germany. I mean, man, that was that was probably terrible for you. I mean, I was only I was uh seventeen, so you know, I was way younger than I am now. Yeah, so I bet if you did it now, you'd be exhausted. Oh, fuck yeah, I'd be dead somewhere. <laughs> They'd be like, "What happened to him? He just got you're just in the aisle laying there, <laughs> just like just K- K- KO'd somewhere." <laughs> what happened to that guy? Yeah, he just flew over. We opened the window for him. Yeah. But yeah, man, I think it's cool that all these different uh, national people get to see, you know, NFL in person. That's pretty cool over there. You know, different countries being able to experience America's favorite sport. Yeah. But it takes a toll on the players. Obviously, uh, the fields are a big thing. A lot of times, like in Brazil, I'm sure it's going to be a soccer field. I don't know if it's like the same grass they use or turf or no, majority of the time they're all I'm pretty sure they're all turf. So it's like a it's just a different structure for players. But I like I watching could be wrong about the whole turf thing. I'm pretty sure majority of soccer fields are turf so they can keep so they can maintain it better. Yeah. I do like waking up on Sunday mornings and just watching like eight AM games. That's fun. Yeah. But I feel like Brazil wouldn't even be like much of a time difference for us because it just is directly south of us. Yeah, I think it would be. I don't know. Let me check. Let's check out yeah, what I time just, it is in Brazil, dude. I think 
uh, was it San San Jose or whatever? What, San, whatever, however you pronounce it. The main city. The capital of Brazil. Oh. But, uh. Three hours ahead of us. Three hours? Yeah, Germany's like 10. Rio de Janeiro? No, it starts with an S. It's like S-A-O. Sao Paulo? I think so. Loop. Yeah, I think that's it. That's what the game's going to be. Brazil. Sao Paulo. Yeah. But, you know, I think the good is, uh, like he said, you're getting you're getting more people out there. You're, you know, a lot more people are getting the opportunity to see their teams if they if they like it over there. You know? It gets the sport to grow. It builds the market up. Builds the market value up. And, uh... You know, the bad is obviously the jet lag, the, you know, being gone. Majority of teams, when they go over there, they make like a little bit of vacation out of it. You know, I feel they, like you got to have a bye week after. Oh, I feel like that too. Well, there's some teams who didn't this year. Yeah. The Bills don't have a bye after going to Germany. Yeah. I mean, that's just, they should have a bye. Majority of teams, like if you go over there, you know, you have a bye. And then you could stay over there for like three or four more days after the game and then fly back and then get ready. <coughs> yeah. I feel like that's better. But yeah. I feel like the two teams they should send down to Brazil is the Cowboys and the Raiders. Just because the Raiders have a massive Hispanic backing and the Cowboys are America's you know, team. Supposedly America's team. You know. Self-proclaimed America's team. They, pr- yeah, you're gonna Jerry piss D- off a lot of people Jerry, watching the milk. Doc. Jerry Jones made that his own thing. No one was like, "This is America's team." I, Jerry Jones said that. People, whenever I'm walking down the street, I see people saying it's America's team. Jerry Jones said that. No, everybody in. says it's America's team, Trey. No one says that. Every time you're like, "Hey, have you guys watched America's team?" Who are the Cowboys? People say that all the time. I hear them. Because you're a cowboy lover. <laughs> Walking like, in the mall. You're like... Cowboys. America's team. You're like Heath, Le- Heath Ledger. And they're like Jake, uh, Jake Gyllenhaal in Brokeback Mountain. Jesus Cowboys Christ. Having fun. Right? There you go. Get one's on a cowboy. There. One's a reverse cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I did not think we were getting here today, boys. Yeah. But... Dude, one other thing that kind of irritates me in the games, though, Gage. I don't <laughs> yeah. know if it irritates you at all. What? Dude, is when when those guys, you know, up top. Yeah. When those guys up in the booth, they're like, you know, when there's a call on the field, they're like, they're like let's bring in Gene Steratore or D- Dean Blandino. What do you think over there, bro? And he's like, he's like. Oh shit! Hold on, guys. I'm over here taking a taking a piss. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What do you well, actually, uh, my calculations say that he's in bounds. Yeah, <laughs> is that what you see? That's what I seen over here, Dean. Dude, it's just so I stupid, dude. Like, I don't. I hate that. I hate that they just the guys over there, like Gene <laughs> Steratore and them, are like. Well, you know, I got I got seventeen hundred camera angles. I know Every guys- time he says this, by the way, it it quadruples. <laughs> First, he started got- off with thirty six, and then it just went from there. <laughs> I got forty thousand camera angles right now, guys. I know you guys can't see all of them because we can't go through them all on the TV screen. It would take and, hours, but and listen. Plus, and plus, I'm just that guy. I just got all the camera angles. But from what I'm seeing from across the room, because I'm making a frappe right now, I'll tell you when I get over there, that's definitely a catch. But I'll let you know clearly here in a minute. Hold on. Oh, yeah, that's Jesus definitely. Jesus Christ, that is the best catch I've ever seen. Yeah, that's for sure a catch. And we appreciate you guys waiting and watching for me to sit there and tell you that ooh, was a catch. Oh, hot cappuccino. Oh, shit. Oh. Yeah, Gene, we're not off the area. Oh, fuck. Sorry, Fuck, they, they believe this shit? <laughs> Dude, I hate that. I literally hate that. Like, I don't know why somebody in New York, like, literally, guys, it could be us. Yeah, 
coming from coming from Indiana, Southern Indiana, live. We're gonna tell you that was a fucking catch. You're welcome. Can the milk dogs do that? Can we get in that? We might as well. We'll try. Make some calls, guys. If you guys know who to call, let us know. We'll call them. We'll try to get in there. I can watch them at every cam- camera angle they give me, and I'll let you guys know live. We'll live stream it as we do it. Yeah, on YouTube. Yeah, that was a catch. Jesus Christ! If if his feet were in there, that would have been a catch. Yeah. <laughs> well, 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 guys. If you see what I see here, uh, the ball definitely popped out. His knee was on the ground, but it popped out. Wait, so wait, it's a, Trey, Trey. It's a 50-50 shot. I got money on him. I got money on him. Oh, that's definitely a fumble. <laughs> His knee was way in the air. He never was on the ground. The ball was definitely moving. Both his feet were in. What? Are uh, you, you don't have the monitors I have. Yeah. Obviously, as you can see here, as I'm drawing on the screen, this white line right here. It's, it's this is the box. Instead of going straight down the white line, they're like, as you can see right here, Gage, <laughs> the fucking seven. white line here. He's definitely <laughs> stepping on it right there, bub. You can't see that? Are you dumb? <laughs> Where are we going with this? <laughs> I'm just telling you how much I hate them. And I wish they would stop doing it. Like, I don't understand why people got to get paid to sit a million miles away. If you like, guys donate to my uh, cash app, I will buy a tray. A sign, what's his name? John Stellator? Yeah. Gene Stellator? Whatever his name is. I'll buy him a signed Joe. picture of Joe Stellator. I don't know his name. Gene Stellator. Whatever his name is, I'm going to find Dean him. Blandino. I'm going to find him in New York. I'm going to wander around if a Sharpie and a picture of him, and I'm going to have him sign it. And it's going to be replacing the hat or the Packers helmet. I bet he won't. I'm going to get it in the biggest frame I can. So it's just like... Yeah, we'll put it on the door. We'll sticky tack it to the door. We just can't block Finn. Casey. <laughs> Casey. Another short. This time, this time right here, we have Finn, the human. No, we don't have Finn this time. Who we got right here between us? Wait, that means she has to put Finn here, and then we're going to put someone else here. Put them in there. No, not Finn. Gene Stellator, right here. Fuck no. I need you to have him there holding a uh, a thing of grapes, dangling him over Trey's mouth right now. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she'd be like, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> She'll probably fucking beat the shit out of something. I She's going to have a short of that, and then that's going to just be me and you doing that. And the yeah. thing's going to switch to a video of her. And she's going to be like, I'm not doing that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <Supposed to. laughs> but I think that's what that's all we got today, guys. You know? <laughs> I know it went off the rails there at the end. You know? That's Trey's boy. What are you talking about? Yeah, Joe. <clears throat> Joe. Joe step on the floor. Joe Schmo. <laughs> yeah. From New York. Live yeah. in Brooklyn. Joe slip on the floor. Stella tour. Skeletor. Joe Skeletor. Wow. It, I've been waiting on him to say that, and he has not caught on. Skeletor. That is so close. There we go. His mind has been blown. Fucking blown. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> All right, boys and gal, gals. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boys I need hold on. I need some more much. <laughs> I'm good, bro. I, no. I, <clears throat> we can't finish until I chug this. Keep talking. Dude, chug it. Dude, chug it. Go, 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 go. You're a sick son of a bitch. But anyways, I think there guys, is some nasty, more nasty shit in the bottom than it was oh, on top. thank God I did not try it again. <laughs> it's settled, man. It's settled down there. Yeah, I just got cold chills thinking of it. All right. All right, guys. That's it this week. See you on the next one.